Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. Thought I'd rattle you out a review on my Pathfinder Wax Canvas Haversack. For those guys that follow my videos know that I've got one of these Frost River uh, Royale Junior backpacks. Great pack pack, weighs a ton. Now I keep this packed so that if I get a day off I don't really have to think too much. I've got everything in there for a quick overnighter and it's ready to roll. As long as I remember to put ground coffee in my container. So I wanted something for when I'm set up to make little exp exploration trips or maybe doing a bit of fishing. My last trip out I was all set up and I decided to go down to the uh, the dam and have a bit probe around and I had too much stuff for my pockets but really not enough to justify carrying this. So I saw these online I thought I'll grab one of these. So in the top of my pack there is a pack. Now, holds it nicely in there. I normally keep a heavy duty plastic bag actually for fish food. I'll be glad when we see the back of these guys, I really will. And this little bag is folded up in there quite nicely. Anyway, I'll reset the camera so you can have a better look at it and we'll go from there. Okay guys, going off the web, it's made of ripstop wax canvas. It's 38 centimeters high by 30 centimeters wide, a strap length of 119 centimeters and it has a, a pocket inside the flap. So it's pretty simple. So by my measurements it's actually 375 high. 307 wide, fully open, it's at 560 millimeter. The strap, which is pretty narrow and not adjustable, is 25 mil wide by 1200 millimeter, 1200 millimeters long. A weight, 176 grams. And I didn't know when I bought it, it's actually made in China. So the, the online photos I looked at it, that was conveniently folded away. So it's reinforced on the inside. It looks pretty well made, it really does. So what's it good for? Now you may have seen bushcraft videos with someone with a very large one of these heading off onto an over an iter. Now I would guess they've got a fixed camp somewhere. This does not replace a backpack of any size. Okay. This is for when you've got too much stuff for your pockets and not enough for a backpack, guys. That's what it really does. So on my recent fishing expedition, I just had too much gear for my pockets and um, I didn't have a small backpack with me. So when I did my coast to coast hike across the UK, where I was carrying a backpack for two and a half weeks, I didn't or wouldn't justify carrying a day pack for those town days when I was having a break from the trail. And I used a, uh, a Cedar Summit uh, shopping bag. So this is sort of a slightly cooler version of that. Anyway, I'll lay out what I had on my last day fishing to give you some idea what it can comfortably carry you know it's to my opinion it's under two kilos okay you may find it different but to me with that width of this strap you're not going to carry four or five kilos comfortably all day long okay guys this is where my habitat is sort of load out especially for a day's fishing so it's always good to be prepared for the chance of being stuck out overnight so I've got a 500ml SIG flask here with a detachable cup, so enough for me fishing around water of course. I have the ability then with this cup to be able to boil water. I have a cutting blade, so I've got a fixed blade here. This is a uh, Chris Reeve Aviator, fantastic knife. Attached to the sheath I've got a mini Bic, so nothing says being prepared outdoors as a mini Bic. Here I've got a, uh, a brass uh, match case. It's got a uh, compass that works on the top. 
obviously it's full of matches and there's some tinder gear in there it's got cord wrapped around it for making shelters my secondary cutting device this is a custom one I've made so this uh, ALOX here has a pair of scissors and because we're working with fishing line when you're going fishing having a pair of scissors is great I've got a uh, Petzl Tanika not the most powerful headlamp great run time so it'll run all night for you glow stick I've got some long life bait which I use here is my fishing kit in this nice little leather wallet another cutting tool in there and a pair of faucets and this is my uh, smaller first aid kit it basically pulls straight out of my pack now in here I have my little blanket foot stuff, it's normally it's always foot stuff it gets you in here a first aid kit and a uh, emergency poncho so the plan would be if you get stuck out overnight is one create fire always makes you feel better now this bag here if you fill this with leaves and uh, debris this would insulate your bum from the ground which is a big step up to survive in the night then you've got your uh, mylar blankets and your poncho you can make a reasonable shelter using your fishing line and you're pretty well prepared without having to carry a ton of stuff anyway guys if this content helps you out helps you make good decisions don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you next time.